guys welcome back to my channel um it's been a long time so let me say welcome or welcome back just in case you know a new subscriber um be sure to like comment and subscribe you know it's been a long time since my last video but i'm trying to take my vlogging more serious i'm not gonna say i don't take it serious let's just say like vlogging comes with some nervousness for me not even nerves i don't know what it is maybe i don't like failure let's say that so maybe i psych myself out i'll say that but that's neither here or there um it's been months since my last vlog i have been vlogging i just have not been posting anything which defeats the purpose but you know maybe i'll just drop some some of my uh <laughs> some of my footage on a later date so basically um my name is nisa yeah i've been away for a while life been doing me in like it's been doing everybody else in but maybe not that bad because i've been shopping so i have like not a not too crazy haul but let's just get into it so i've been doing a lot of shopping um maybe i should start off with the fragrance okay let's jump into it so muglia alien I'm sure you girls done heard about it. Let me, let me see. I can't explain it, but it's full. It's what I need for the fall. And the, and the, it's, it's a warm, warm smell. It's a warm scent that I actually kicked off at the end of the summer. I purchased this. And one of my friends actually purchased it and I loved it and she we was on the phone talking about it and I'm like oh, I always wanted to smell it. I always wanted her to buy me one honestly but <laughs> um I just end up making a purchase myself and while we I think give me <sighs> my daughter is outside playing sorry <laughs> so back to Muglia I love the scent it's a sexy scent it's a noticeable scent i think it's a complimented scent i have gotten a lot of compliments on this scent um i enjoy it i should have do i have the box just to let you guys know the notes but i'm not gonna do all that right now because i don't want to go look for the box just being honest um but i do love that scent that was my first purchase um from glare burberry love her down this is Burberry London Dream. Um, I went in there for just the regular Burberry Her fragrance. Um, I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure if it's just called Burberry Her or what, but you know, the pink fragrance. Um, this is a brown, it's a brown color, whatever. <laughs> but um, for this one here, they didn't have the Burberry Her that I was looking for, but um, the guy in Sephora, love him down we're always picking out scents together and he was like you know try this one and he gave me um the victor and rolf but it wasn't no flower bomb it was the new purple fortune good fortune or something and it smelled like candy it smelled good but it wasn't necessarily me i might double back on it i said i'll wait to the sephora sell and see because i know that's next up but um this scent here really love it it could possibly be a signature scent. I want to say a lot of these fragrances are not nothing that I haven't smelled before. I'm starting to feel like everything is repetitive, but it can also be my nose because I like what I like. So maybe it's just me picking them, but different brands. I'm getting a hint of all the same things, but I mean, that's what the industry is. Um, but I just love this scent. It just smells sexy. It's soft. It's... And it's called London Dream, if I didn't say that. It's sexy, it's soft, it's just, and it's noticeable. It's just, it's feminine. It's feminine. I love that. I love that scent. Um, and I also, with the Mugler, this was the travel size that it came with. And, you know, you just fill it up. And I took it with me on vacation. So, this is a bonus that came with the Mugler. I really, really do love that purchase as well. And... As you can see, they're all aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> Just cute. They all match. So, yeah, it could be a me thing. Okay, let's jump into my next purchase. So, 
I bought a card holder from Balenciaga. I was looking at this card holder for a long time. Um, I actually wanted my boyfriend to buy it from me. And he ended up buying me a whole bunch of other shit. So I just was like, you know, I'll buy this. And luckily I caught it on sale at on Sataya for like $2.26 if I'm not mistaken. And it was originally retailed at um, $2.95 if I'm not mistaken. And I love her down, obviously. That's my mood for this winter, this fall. I'm like really feeling metallics, even though I kind of always like a good metallic. I know YSL has this metallic pink car holder that's like next up on my list. Let me see if I could focus it. But like, I am obsessed. And don't mind my nails, y'all. My charms have been falling off. I'm very sad about it, but I'm going to go get my nails done again. I'm just not sure what I want to do next. Thinking about sticking with the metallic, but I'm feeling like going back to like just long pink bust down nails. Second card holder of my wish list purchase. If you guys seen that I um did a TikTok and I did like the little trend of the full wish list in my YSL card holder that I was talking about is on there. But I seen this one and I could not pass it down. Like I just thought it was so cute. And here it is. She's so cute. I feel like for the price of these card holders though, Balenciaga, I'm not ever going to go wrong with a Balenciaga purchase. I will say quality wise other than my white runners but that's neither here or there um i i love this it just doesn't feel worth it i feel like this could have been like a hundred dollars quality wise but of course we're paying for the logo for the most part but if i'm paying for something i really do like quality i'm not just into having it because of the logo when i make a purchase it needs to be a quality purchase um you know because it's my hard-earned money but i will say that i do I do love this car holder. I don't know what I'm saving her for, but I'll get around to her. Next, I scored the Mia Copa beanies. Give it up for me. Um, I knew about this brand for a while. I think her prices went up on the um beanies. I know that there were some for like $92 and I think like $72. I got mine. They both were $72 each and I bought them separately which made me pay for the shipping um, twice. I just wasn't sure what else I wanted and I wish I would have caught more colors. I just think me and my daughter are going to have a mommy and me hat. Obviously I'll be wearing both. But when I buy stuff I think about you know the baby too. So that's my little twin. That's my twin and them. But, um, yeah, so, really love these beanies. It's my favorite color, of course. It's pink. I'm obsessed. I wanted it for a long time, so soon she dropped it, I was, like, on the clock, like, gotta get this, gotta get this beanie. I even put my co-worker on to it because we were working together, and I was like, you have to. I was like, this is so fire. Ask him to help me pick out colors. But he ended up buying his girlfriend one, too, so that was super dope, super cute. Got to tell you guys what the retail was on the perfumes. I want to say that the Burberry London Dream was about $90. It was possibly $88. And then the Mugler fragrance, I, I do not remember. Either the same price point or just a little bit more. Okay. because I really don't know if I'm ever going to get around to wearing these pants. I love them, but I have to lose my stomach because within the last two years, baby girl done blew up. I'm about to get back in the gym heavy. So I will be wearing these and truthfully, I don't care. Like I'll sit it on this stomach. It's going to give regardless. But um, I have a pair of the Vereen nylon pants. You know, they have their signature little stamp on their pants is the v-cut in the front hence why I like baby girl just can't be putting a stomach in anything but 
Um, I really do love this pants. I love the way it fits on me. It's giving body already. Um, definitely a good look on the butt. I love, love, love the way it fits my body. I like the way they fit my butt. I like the way, because I have a bigger butt. Um, it doesn't suck my butt in. I was able to fit them, and I could appreciate that because I'm, like, struggling to find jeans the bigger I get. And I'm really not a jeans person anyway. So these pants were like the perfect purchase. Perfect purchase for me. I just have to get around to making it work for me. Because I don't want my stomach hanging out the front of this pant. But it is what it is. Because these pants going to see whatever body I give it. All right. Next purchase is from AliExpress. And that don't mean a damn thing. Because that's where all the girlies is getting their stuff from. For the most part, all these boutiques. And I respect it. But um, I know a brand that is selling these. And I'm not paying that price for it. And it's not because, like, obviously it's not even a money thing. It's just like, you know, if I can find it cheaper, why not get it cheaper? Ooh, it's getting caught in my nails. But I love these <laughs> slippers. And I tried them on before. I know y'all probably seen like Dash Jada because um, their friend, I think it's Jada's manager or something, she sells these to Elway. And love the girls down, but if I'm going to find a dupe, I'm not going to say if I can find a dupe, I'm going to get it. But for slippers and stuff like that, yes, like why not? So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just having too much fun with these slippers. I like them, but for the most part, these will be worn in the house. I really wanted to wear these outside, probably with a baggy jean or like a straight leg jean. I'll pull these off. But they are really just big, and I'm not here for them just being dirty, dragged outside. So, you know, there's that. And they were about $40 on AliExpress. Probably took about three weeks to get here, if not two. Not too bad. Next purchase. I finally got another pair of runners. Runners are like really one of my favorite shoes to wear. I got these from GOAT. Um, yeah, I already have another colorway so I know how runners are. I probably played, paid almost $200 for these. I'm really sick of not catching stuff retail because when it comes to foam runners and a foam sneaker that costs like $7 to make and Yeezy selling them for $70, my whole theory is like even my boyfriend be saying like but you'll spend seven hundred dollars on a balenciaga nine hundred dollars on it that's the price you have to set the standard for your stuff if kanye said that these are worth seventy dollars that's what he did that's what i want to pay but i respect the resale hustle when i'm reselling i don't like when it's happening to me but um yeah just a everyday shoe um, I definitely want the sand color next. I bought those for my daughter. So, oh, actually, let me show you guys. Of course, I got mini me everything that I get for me. But I want this color next. These are Taylor's. The cutest little foam brother. But she can't fit them yet. They're size 13. And she can't fit them. Maybe in a few more months. I know on her feet. Maybe by next summer. Okay, let me just get her stuff out the way while I'm here. And I made her a cute little purchase. She has been wearing these to school already, but I bought her a pair of Balenciagas because I feel like whatever mommy has, she has to have. Like, if I'm buying it for myself, why she not dripped out? But she has literally everything, so that's not even a question. Well, these have some wear and tear to it already. <laughs> she been wearing them since school started, and she loves these a lot. So, that's hers. And I caught them on sale at um, Melly Joy. So any mom watching, do I have the card? It's M-E-L-I-J-O-E. -E. And I like to get her, um, I like to get her moon boots from there too. But I haven't seen any cute ones yet for the season. So, not too much shopping. This just came today. I got an Essentials hoodie from Essence, well from Scents, 
they're on sale right now i got an extra extra small it's men's the person on the picture when i bought it was a female so i guess they sent me whatever they wanted to send me um because it says men's on it but i got an extra extra small i really like this off-white color if i'm not mistaken it's supposed to be like an oatmeal but well it kind of gives that but i really do love this crew neck and it actually gives me like a mock neck vibe while i'm wearing it and i'm obsessed with a mock neck turtleneck like that's just my vibe um i kind of caught it with this sale even though y'all know that essence always update prices and then they'll give you like a little 15 percent off and even though the retail on this i think is like originally about ten dollars less or so Let's see look it says men's even though it should be women's i don't know if the cut would have been different even though i have plenty of essentials me and taylor i already know how the sizing goes i know it's oversized but this is a extra extra small it's still loose on me and i'm thicker so i would have thought it would have been a little tighter because i kind of wanted to look smaller but next time i'm gonna give a try going to the kids 2xl i think it is and i'm gonna give that a try but good purchase can't wait to wear it probably gonna wear it with my phone runners when i first wear it just a cozy fit just cozy vibes okay next on the list i wish i wasn't sitting right here with my little setup because i need more space i'm very happy about this purchase i wanted these so bad so so bad You know what? We gonna wait for that. I purchased this Jack Moose bag. A Jack or Moose? Jack Moose. I think it's Jack Moose. I purchased this bag um months ago. Months ago. I purchased this and I did a reel with my Marnie bag. I have to go get my Marnie bag too. But um, I love this bag. It's the Q bag. And I don't know if I'm ever gonna wear it. It was about nine hundred dollars, nine something. I genuinely do not know if I'm gonna wear this bag. I wanted to go to Tulum for my birthday, that's why I made a purchase on this bag. Never made it to Tulum. I'm pretty sure one day I'm gonna make it there. Um, it just was that aesthetic. It was so perfect for it. So I'm gonna keep it because I'm gonna make sure I wear this bag. Um. It's just so cute. It's spacious, but it's huge. It's not something that I'm wearing around over here anywhere, I will say. Um, so definitely a vacation bag. Love this bag down. Love this bag. It's so cute. It's super big. Love it. Okay. Since we're on, give me a second. All right. So Self Ridges finally got the bubblegum skims one of the tiktok girlies put me on not put me on but she put us all on and she looked out and i respect her she's a queen <laughs> but i wanted this so bad and it sold out so early um on skims actual website and it's the bubblegum the bubblegum pink skims and i'm so happy that i made this purchase um i'm happy that it was back in stock i ordered this from since um this color the other one is from self ridges and then this is from self ridges this top was from nordstrom so i'm happy to catch everything and then these here i looked up somebody was selling them on poshmark under retail she said she wore them once not even going cap to y'all i bought it anyway can't beat it i just feel like sometimes people wear stuff take a picture and then want to sell it $25 under retail bought it I don't care I'm gonna wash it before I wear it anyway I also got these socks to go with it and they're from Amazon it's a dupe of the skim socks and that's how I'm gonna spin it but obviously she didn't create scrunch socks but can't beat it matches the color perfectly <sighs> yeah I'm happy I don't know about this color let me see 
it's close uh, it's more of a peachy but whatever i won't die i've got it in like black white and gray too so i can do whatever i want to wear with it but yeah these are from amazon and i hate these nails getting put on everything i'm so definitely happy about that purchase as y'all can see my favorite color really is pink i'm obsessed and i just want to get everything that i could but i think i'm done with skims i'm lying it's a lot of stuff that I bleach that I want to repurchase and stuff. I have my skims for years. I have a lot of skims. I just... I'm kind of overpaying that price for leggings and a top. Like, realistically, like, these tops here, I have it in black. I have them in white, and I got it from Sheen. Like, I seen the girls posting them. The quality is that... I, I like the quality on these. I'm not saying I don't like skims. It's two different materials, but I'm just... I'm kind of over just spending it and it's a me thing because I'm tired of destroying them and it's just so easily to get destroyed. I'm bleaching stuff. It turns color when it's too much sun. My black skims have turned colors. Um, but this is not a bashing skims moment because obviously love her down. Okay. This is the Marnie bag that I was telling you guys about and I was going to sell this bag when I first bought it. but. what i was saying this is the marnie bag that i purchased a couple months back um i wore it one time i want to say on my birthday um yeah it's very cute vacation-y i will say i'm more into smaller bags that's a lie that is such a lie because obviously i keep making purchases but i think i just mostly buy what i find to be cute and it's either i wear it or i don't but this is definitely an adorable purchase and when i posted it everybody was like oh sell it to me da -da -da -da. um i even posted it on poshmark because i really was going to get rid of this bag because it's just i'm not going to say it's not me but just holding a bag it's like a shopping bag you know so it's just i don't know it's either i'm a tote girl i do like a big tote but if you could catch my drift i do like small bags it just depends because I had a bunch of tail fall, like minis. Well, not a bunch. I had two when I sold them both. Um, but yes. Luckily, I caught this. I guess before everybody was really into it. Because I just was on a website. Saw it. Left it alone. And one day, I just was like, fuck it. Go get it. Like, go get your bag. Hey, next purchase. <sighs> I actually got... <laughs> I actually got this from one of my boys. Um, obviously, it's a big shirt. Um, but as you can see, for my boobs, stuff like this work. I wanted to get it tailored, but I just found when I tucked the shirt in a little bit, it was fine. Um, he basically bought this shirt, and I just was like, you know, people don't be wearing stuff more than one time. I said, give me that shirt. Like, let me buy it off of you, and I paid retail for it just because, like why not it's either he's gonna sell it or and if he was to sell it to somebody else maybe he would have sold it more to retail more than retail he would have kept it and i wore it i don't know but i'm happy i got this shirt love this shirt wanted that shirt for a long time and it sold out and never came back in stock now i have the gcds shirt um i caught this for like a hundred dollars it's a vest it's so tiny um but it stretches when you put it on um yeah it's just really cute and i had bought this actually for going to houston went to houston and never even wore it but it's i think my stuff will start fitting me better when i lose my weight and get back in the gym and lose these because they just interfere with all my fire fits and it's aggravating um i want to stop saying um too next i bought this balenciaga shirt and retail it was $4.95 I just fell in love with this shirt from the moment that I saw it it's me it's my color it's the perfect material it stretches it it's the same type of vibe it's just my vibe it's just what I like um I don't have no comments on this purchase like I wanted this shirt so I ordered this shirt obsessed with it Paying $500 for shirts is not ideal, and I'm, like, kind of over that, but 
the bigger the hype, the, the more they're going to keep up in the prices for everything. Because before Balenciaga, everything went up. Everything went up. Everything went up. But that's fine. It is what it is. It comes with the territory. Next, I have this Heron Preston shirt that I bought from Scent. I want to say I paid about $120 for this shirt. Um, again, my color, my vibe. <laughs> I like this shirt. I got a lot of clothes that I like, but I haven't put that shit on because I don't be going nowhere. But soon, but I can't even say that because when I'm just going to the store, I'll put my clothes on. Like, I'll go grocery shopping looking fire. And then it's time to go outside and I'm like, oh, I don't have nothing to wear. So, there's that. I did a lot of shopping, more than I expected. This next purchase, I have not tried it on yet. It is the Alexander Wing purchase. I got it from Sense also. I don't know if we calling this Sense or Essence, but I've been saying it forever. I've been shopping here forever. And I just got this Alexander Wing turtleneck. Um, my lashes are doing their big one right now. But I got this Alexander Wing turtleneck. I definitely want the regular rounded collar too, so I'm probably going to purchase that later today. But I'm obsessed with this top. I really do like this shirt. Um, once I saw it, I was like, oh no, I have to have it. But this shirt was like $275. But again, I'm not one of those people. I do wear a lot of stuff once, but this is a shirt that I will wear all the time because like I love this purchase. It's a black basic, it's just a basic black top with a logo. Like, but the material, everything about it, the cotton is just it's just rich. Like it's worth it. It's worth the money. Okay. I've, been, I've done a lot of shopping, but this is the season where everything gets worn. From vacations to fall, winter, that's when I dress up. That's when I go outside. That's when I feel my best. Like, nobody want to be hot and cute in the summertime. I miss do too much on that. This next purchase, the TikTok girlies ate it up. Ate it up. Um... I've had like a few videos go viral for like, not viral, but like I've had nail videos get like 10, 12,000 views on TikTok, not too much. But when I post this, I feel like this was like my first video that's like been getting seen. I don't know if after a while you just get like, what you call that? Shadow ban? I don't know. I don't know what's been going on with my TikTok and my social media accounts. It's just like, I'm not some big person, some big influencer, but it's like when you got fire stuff, come on in. <laughs> but a lot of stuff, I'm not getting the traffic anymore to my social media platforms. But again, just like YouTube, I'm very inconsistent. But this next purchase, the girls loved just as much as I loved it. And it's another Jack Moose purchase. And this is their feathered top with the logo in between the chest. It's just so fire, like, so fire. And with my boobs, obviously, I'm gonna need some boob tape, and I gotta I gotta put this on and pull this off, because this top right here is fuego, chef's kiss. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. But, yeah, that's that. So, I don't know when I'm gonna wear this, but, I bought this because for my next purchase that I'm about to show y'all. Um, <laughs> the dancing. I wanted to wear this with it. I gotta see if if it's a hit. If it's a hit. Let me show y'all. Let me get into it. I went through hell and hot waters. Hell and hot waters? Hell and hot, hell and hot waters? It's hell and something, but I went through hell for these. Oh. And I'm so happy that I got them. I have to tell y'all, I um don't mind the yelling outside. My daughter is a part of the crew. <laughs> but um, I bought these two times. Once from Farfetch and once from... Once from Farfetch, once from Balenciaga. And both times my order was canceled and refunded. Balenciaga took so long to refund me. It, it makes no sense. How you cancel the same day and take 
a week to give me my money back. I was in confusion. Nothing takes more than two days to be posted back to my card. So that was $900 out of my card twice. Farfetch took a few days. But by that time, I was like, all right, I'm spending too much. I asked my boyfriend, buy these for me. I finally found them. A personal shopper got in contact with me. Um, not a personal shopper. I'm lying. Um, I found them on Balenciaga trying store. I'm in New Jersey. These were from Texas and Cali was available too. So the trick is buying them in store. Well, try in store and then when it pop up, you buy them at a location. You don't have to be from there. Once they contact you, it's like you reserve them in store and they're going to call you and be like, oh, your shoes are ready. Or they're going to email you and you request the pay link. And that's what I did. So I requested a pay link and I got my sneakers and bought my boots and I'm so happy. Um, it probably took them about a week to get to me from Texas a few days the shipping whatever the case may be they're processing but once i paid for them i knew they was mine i was good to go like i was so happy the only thing that throws me off about this boot and i had to like contact them after to see like if this was normal is this stripe here through the boot i'm like this looks cheap like this doesn't look 900 dollars quality worthy like that doesn't look like why why is that there i'm so confused but they're like oh no that's just how it is whatever i just wanted to make sure balenciaga wasn't sending me no fakes i don't care about nothing when these fakes be looking real i wouldn't push it past to nobody <laughs> but i know that sounds crazy but i'm just so happy with this purchase like oh my god my next balenciaga sneaker that i want is also pink too so hopefully i can get that in this bag um this week or next week i'm trying Okay, so that's the purchase that I'm super happy with. Again, those was $8.95. But again, I request the pay link. You pay over the phone and they send them out to you. This next purchase is from Zara. The pink is starting to be like obsessive. Like I don't, it's not even, it's ridiculous. So this is like a little tool bandu, whatever, tooly tool, whatever. And I was thinking in my head, my friend said it like a loofah and I don't care a cute loofah um so i wanted to just wear this on vacation with a bikini bottom to match the same color just to give it like a cute cute little look cute bag whatever this was only 49 dollars 50 dollars so yeah there's that not too much not too much to say on that what else oh this might be one of my favorite purchases and I know that sounds so crazy. It's um a crop North Face puffer. It's retail 270. I think I probably paid 250 for it or something. I'm not sure. But I got it from ASOS and y'all may know it as ASOS. Um I call it ASOS. I'm pretty sure it's ASOS. I'm not sure, not too much. But um it's the cutest little puffer. Like, come on. It's the cutest puffer. Like, I had to get this puffer. And I can wear these with my phone. Run. I can wear this with anything. I'm not even about to get into it. But I'm thinking a calm, calm, calm fit. It's ridiculous, though, because it's already brick in the city. Like, it's, it's no reason why I'm already putting a jacket on beginning of October. But it's sunny today, so I guess not too much on the weather. This is another purchase that I got from Zara. It is... This cute, 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 cute jacket. <laughs> Just extra. But it's super cute. I saw some girl post it on TikTok and I was like, you know what? I don't want this, whatever, whatever. I'm like, I don't need another jacket. I got a closet full of jackets, but that's my thing. Like, I'm gonna be cute, I'm gonna be cozy. So, I made this purchase. I think this jacket was like one. Well, I don't want to lie. It may be like 110, one. I can be lying. This jacket could have been like 150, and I'm just saying stuff. But I know it was over a hundred dollars. So, oh wait, 119. Okay, in between, it was 119, and she's mine. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last item out of my purchase. Um out of this little hole i wanted this really bad and um 
yeah i finally found it i went through hell for this too i done drove the cherry hill new jersey that's irrelevant i done drove to other parts of new jersey um like i wanted this and i got it and i'm actually wearing this to my friend's baby shower i just wanted this jacket so bad and i got it i just think it's adorable it's super cute I can wear this out to dinner. I can wear this out. This is giving me like business event. This giving, I'm not going away for business, but you know, you never know. <laughs> but I just like, I like this top. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know what else to say about it, but this was steep. Oh, I'm going to the tag off. This was $169. So, Zara like to play in your pockets. They love to play in the girl's pockets. So, that's that i did do a big amazon purchase and i wanted to do a haul on that but i think i'm done for today because today drained me now, <laughs> that was a lot that was a lot it was more than i expected that i would have for this video but those are all my purchases um i did get the mega lace the jumbo um lace rick owens and leather i have those but i wore them already i wreck a sneaker fast so i'm not even going to show y'all that the front is distressed look like it's they're worn they have wear to it so there's no point in showing those um i have other purchases coming in this week so maybe i'll just throw those into another vlog because yes i am trying to get back to my vlogging um but yeah thanks for tuning in again be sure to like comment and subscribe if you guys have any questions chat with me um follow me on instagram i'm gonna link everything below and i guess i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye <laughs>